today is gonna be a good one. After my last style walkthrough video, I asked you what kind of um, other brands or stores you might want to see in a style walkthrough. The most requested store was Hot Topic, because of course it was. You love Hot Topic. You know I love Hot Topic. Here's a video I made for Hot Topic. I love them. So I did some online browsing. Their inventory is freaking massive. Good fandom stuff, good music stuff, good gothy kind of fashion stuff. <sighs> how do you choose? Okay, okay, this is how I chose. Literally everyone loves Disney. <laughs> and I have landed on three Disney Pixar movies to create outfits inspired by. Okay, so I'm gonna go grab the boxes that Hot Topic sent me. I'll be right back. Okay, I think we'll unbox down here on the floor today because these boxes are really big. I wanna start on the big box. I get so excited. <laughs> Which one should I show you first? First up, a pair of overalls. A pair of pink overall shorts. Oh, I didn't know it had like a little fork on the pocket. <laughs> oh my gosh, it's so cute. Ooh, so beautiful. Oh my god. Oh my gosh, look. It's a light ear, like a name tag. It's got the Space Rangers patch on the sleeve. <laughs> I'm judging you. Hot Topic's judging you. Buzz Lightyear is judging you. There's no sign anywhere. And finally, the last movie. Do you want to guess? We can pause for dramatic effect. <laughs> Okay, so the reason I picked Beauty and the Beast, one, it's a great Disney classic. Two, look at this purse. <laughs> look at this purse. It's Chip, and he's a purse. I feel like I need to display this if I'm not carrying it. I feel like I need to put it up on my like desk or on my vanity or something as a display. This is so cute. <laughs> it's so cute. And this is top off the Beauty and the Beast outfit. It's the grand finale. You guys know how I feel about Why Are You. You know I love Why Are You, my favorite shoes. I've wanted these shoes for so long. These are like my dream shoes. I'm gonna cry, I'm so happy. There's a gold Why Are You Cosmo um, Airs and they light up on the bottom. <laughs> Thank you, Hot Topic, thank you. I love them. All right, so now you guys know the three. We're doing The Little Mermaid, we're doing Toy Story, and we're doing Beauty and the Beast. Oh my gosh, these look so amazing. So as you can tell, these outfits have got a really solid running start already based on just what was available at Hot Topic. Especially Ariel here. We already have the top, the bottoms, the shoes, and the purse. It really just needs like hair and accessories, like a starfish or something. This is Ursula's bow and necklace, but I think we'll leave Ursula's accessories with the Bad Girls Club. So let's grab out some accessories. Oh, this here. This big teal mermaid necklace. Um, I don't know if you can see on camera, but it's kind of glittery and it has a little star that hangs down. This will be perfect. And also a surprising amount of kawaii sea creatures. <laughs> I think I'll take this guy. For bracelets, I think like Ariel would probably like the pearly kind of stuff. Pearls, makes sense. Underwater pearls. Oh shoot, this guy, obviously duh. <laughs> How did I forget this? It's literally a starfish. Let's go ahead and steal the starfish off my head too. This pink heart watch would match the overalls and I bet you Ariel would be pretty intrigued by watches. So I'm thinking just pink ruffle socks. Oh my gosh, an injury from my last video. We're just gonna ignore that. Be cool, be cool. <laughs> I'm starting to second guess the starfish bracelet. I'm not sure if it goes with this because it's like silver and like metal-y, but I feel like all the other accessories are kind of like these sort of cutesier vibe. Just because something is thematically appropriate doesn't mean uh, you have to use it in all your mermaid outfits. And all we need now I think is hair. You know I gotta do red hair. We gotta do Ariel's hair. So bright Ariel red would be in 
bright, warm colors. I think I wanna go with this one. This is Curly Dark Roots in Red. I'll show you out of the bag. Come on, let's go. Oh my gosh, you guys, this is the Little Mermaid outfit. It's so, 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 so cute. I can't wait to see how this looks on. Oh my gosh, it's so adorable. So I ordered these in a size medium, but I really probably could have gone with a small. They're a little bit big on me. So I might end up altering these a little bit to fit me a little bit better, like just not be so loose. So in the meantime, I think I'm gonna roll up the shorts a little bit. But since these are overalls, they have a really um, easy way to kind of modify them to fit your body. They have buttons that go up the sides. A lot of overalls have these. So I think what I might end up doing is unbuttoning these buttons. And I'll probably end up reattaching three new buttons that kind of go at an angle like this so that I can button it tighter like that. That way I don't have to make any sort of like complicated alterations. I can just add a few new buttons and it will fit me a lot better. For now, I think I'll just safety pin it like that, but uh, that's the plan. That goes the other way too, of course. If you accidentally order them too small, you could add more buttons in here and make them a little bit bigger in the waist. The octopus sits like right where her face would be. I don't know, I don't know if that's gonna be a good look. Although this would be a cute face for anyone. Oh my gosh, I didn't even notice this before. There's like a mermaid charm attached to the handle of the purse. It seems like she might be a little bit stabby, like she might poke you with her sticking out arm over here or her fins, but she's really cute. I'll report back. Okay, I just had this cute idea to try to string some pearls from the belt loops. Like, not go all the way around, but just kind of drape it across the front here. That's kind of cute. Ooh, I like that. So I'm thinking I might add some last minute pearls to this look. I have like... Now I feel like a real mermaid princess. look with the tank top, shorts, purse, and shoes from Hot Topic. This actually makes me really, 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 really want to go to Disneyland. <laughs> I feel like this would be a great outfit for something like that because it's super comfy. It's like a great summer outfit and it's shorts and a tank top. So it's good for like summer heat. This kind of makes me want to do a whole lookbook of like Disney bounds. Thumbs up this video if you guys want to see a Disney bound video. Look. Earlier this morning, I was like twirling around in the kitchen. And B was like, is that from Finding Nemo? <laughs> and he's like, oh right, sorry. Beauty and the Beast. And I said, out of the sea. Wish I could be. And he was like, oh, Little Mermaid. So next up, I think we will do Beauty and the Beast. <laughs> okay, Beauty and the Beast. Oh my god, I'm so excited for this one. Okay, so what we have from Hot Topic is this Beauty and the Beast tank top. Chip, the uh, <laughs> purse I fangirled over at the beginning. The necklace, and we have the Why Are You light up sneakers. Okay, so first thing, we'll take a look at this shirt. Ooh, it's so, so, so soft. It also has along the sides a sheer panel with uh, like flowers on it. Oh my gosh, this is so cute. Just so perfect for Beauty and the Beast. <laughs> Since it does have some sheerness, whatever you wear under it is gonna matter. Okay, so I have this. It's like a sports bra, kind of. It's not really super effective as a sports bra, <laughs> but um, I usually wear it for this exact purpose. Like if you have a shirt that has like big open sides or is sheer like this one. This came in like a three pack from Walmart for like 
$10. So in my opinion, it's a good staple piece for this kind of outfit. Okay, so for the bottoms, I'm thinking that I want to do those gold shorts that I have been wearing in like every video lately, <laughs> which the shorts are like 10 years old. I don't know why they're making such an appearance lately, but I think the gold will go really well with this. We have the gold in the shoes. We have the gold all around chip here. We have the gold jewelry. We have this yellowy gold in Belle's dress. I think gold is gonna be the way to go. Yes, they're back again. Perfect. Okay, so, oh, hello. Welcome, Pipes. <laughs> okay, so, I want to pull some roses into this look uh, because it's Belle and it's Beauty and the Beast and it's an important symbol. So for flowers, I don't think you guys have really seen what's underneath my vanity here, but it's like arts and crafts town. It's like kind of all over the place. It's like bedazzles, ribbon, nail polish, extra fabric, like felt and paper, stuff like that. This one is flowers, which is where we want to be. These are from my Corpse Bride tutorial. Do you remember that, Emily? Skeleton decomposed Emily. <laughs> so not those flowers, but these are what I'm looking for. Okay, there's one specific one I'm looking for. Ooh, this one. Okay, maybe it's not a rose, but <laughs> it's a flower and it's red and it's soft and it's pretty and I think it will be good for our hair for Beth. Another rose thing that I have that we can pair with this. Come on, let's go. <laughs> So here's some tights and they have a rose on, uh, it's just above the ankle. These are called like tattoo tights, which are just sheer tights with some sort of print on them. I mean, they don't look like real tattoos, obviously, but it's a fun way to have like really specific kind of designs on you. For example, a rose for a Beauty and the Beast outfit. <laughs> um, socks, let's see, let's see. Shoes, those tights, white ruffle socks. Yep, that's it. Dude. <laughs> so while I was digging in my ruffle sock drawer for some white ruffle socks, I found these, which are like the same color as this. It's like a dusty pink kind of, and the top ruffles are white. Like literally, perfect. <laughs> my absurdly large sock collection <laughs> has paid off again. This ring's a good match, the cream and a flower. All right, so I'm just gonna grab a brown wig for Belle. All right, brown wig. This deeper brown is what I'm going for, I think. Oh, this is the Royale. That would be pretty. Boop. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god, it really just pulls it together. This looks so cute. I can't wait to see it on. Is it time, is it time, is it time? I think it's time. The good thing about tattoos like if you have high tops here and it kind of covers it up, it's not a real tattoo. You can kind of move it a little bit. Perfect. <laughs> How the fluff does this work? Okay, okay, I figured it out. They're actually two separate necklaces. Good to know. when I thought of another cute way to style the Beauty and the Beast outfit that I might like even better. So you get an alternate styling for the Beauty and the Beast tank top. The two main things that I look for when I have a piece like this is color and texture. The last version that we styled of this was all about color, right? It was all of the gold features, the red roses. This alt styling is about texture. 
I've incorporated a bunch of little lacy pieces um, that are all kind of based around the lace side panels of this tank top, like a lace headband, a lace skirt, lace tights, a lace cardigan, the same ruffle socks from before because seriously, the color is perfect. And even a lace pattern on my shoes. All while keeping them in this like floral, cream, pink color palette. Obsessed. Which style do you prefer? Casual Belle or Frilly Princess? Let me know in the comments. Oh, you know what time it is. It's time for that Toy Story. This one's gonna be so good. <laughs> okay, so from Hot Topic, we have this metallic planet bag, this Buzz Lightyear Space Ranger varsity jacket, which is just like, ugh, everyone needs this in their life. And this t-shirt that is so hilarious to me that I got it in a size large because that's all they had. And I was like, you know what? I don't even care. We'll make it work. So what I'm thinking we'll do, okay, don't kill me, don't kill me. I'm thinking of cutting the sleeves off and making it into a loose fitting tank top. Then we'll try it on, see if we need to size it down any from there just by taking in the sides. I don't know, let's try it. Okay, so here's how it looks without the sleeves and obviously it is still a little bit baggy, but I prefer a baggier look for muscle tees than for t-shirts, hence, the slicing of the sleeves. I think I still do want to take it in just a little bit on the sides. So now that our shirt is fitting us a little better, let's get to the styling. Okay, back to where we started. <laughs> so our colors for this outfit are going to be green, purple, and black. Let's take a look and see what we have in like shorts department. My shorts are like impossible to see in my closet, so I just grabbed a huge stack and figured we could go through them together here. No, no. These are kind of cool. Possible, possible. No, no. Purple. Ooh. No, no. Okay, all right. The ones that jump out at me here are definitely these purple ones. I like the like shredded part of these shorts, and I think it'll go nicely with our little like DIY cut the sleeves off of that shirt. We can bring the black in. Ooh, ooh, I have an idea. So a way to bring the black in and also play up the grunge kind of aspect is black holy fishnets. I think that would be so cute with this. I left my usual pair of holy black fishnets at Jenna's house, but I think I have another pair with my cosplays. But my cosplays are up there. So you may be wondering why, as a cosplayer, I keep my cosplays so difficult to get to. <laughs> it's because I have like freaking 50 costumes. I don't have room for them in the real world. Ha! Nah? Aw, oh, yeah, that is what we're looking for. Get in there. Aw, oh, hey guys. Hey, purple shoes. Purple shoes. Black spiky socks. And here we go. Lime green socks. Sock collection wins again. Um, I want to bring more of the green in. We got a lot of purple going on. Let's see what green wigs we're working with. I know the green hologram is gone for sure, but it's already lived its Toy Story dream. How cute is my friend Brittany? Oh my gosh, <laughs> so cute. Okay, okay, I can see underneath these teal wigs, there's like a glowing green down here, which I think is going to be the winner. This is an unreleased wig, which I hate to use during the walkthroughs, but it's so perfect. I think Rockstar is coming out with this colorway in uh, some of the new collections that are on pre-sale right now. If you need to get your hands on this neon glowing green. <laughs> yes. Yes. <laughs> okay, we just need accessories. So I think we're gonna go like space alien stuff. I don't have anything Toy Story specific, but that doesn't matter. We're just looking for purple and green and spacey. Let's see what we got. This is purple and green, but wrong fandom. Shout out to nerdy crafter Jackie who made this for me. It's so cute. 
Aha! Get out here. Perfect! So I made this a few years ago out of polymer clay. I wear a lot of alien clothes, so just making a universal alien necklace has served me well. And it's gonna get used again today. I have made other alien accessories too. I think it would probably be in this one, like hair clips. Huh, here's one. These are all of my hair accessories that are not bows. I have too many bows to <laughs> include. They're all up here. These green clips, totally, so cute. But because our hair is gonna be green too, maybe I'll just clip them to the hood so you can actually see them. So just like a little hood decoration and then we have a purple version that we can put in our hair. Pretty adorable. I'm gonna throw this hat in to match kind of these lighter purple shorts and the buzz on our shirt it kind of draws that lighter purple up since we have a good amount of darker purples in the shoes, the purse, and the hood. Oh my gosh, I can't wait to see how this one all comes together. This one is elaborate. <laughs> That's why it's a small. <laughs> I'm so excited. Of course, I love this super sick burn from Buzz Lightyear. I love the grungy legs, the uh, holes in the fishnets, and these super short shorts. I love literally everything about this outfit. Oh my gosh, I love it. you guys for this Hot Topic Disney Pixar themed style walkthrough. I loved this one. This one was so good. <laughs> if you liked it too, thumbs up this video, share it with your friends so Hot Topic knows you want to. Oh my god, you scared me. Hello. 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 Look at what you doing. Can you tell who I am? What movie I am dressed up in? Toy Story. Ah. Ding, 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 ding. What's your favorite Disney Pixar movie? Mmm. <laughs> Shrek. Shrek is not Disney Pixar. At the beginning, there's the dude with the moon. It's DreamWorks, right? Isn't that DreamWorks? Yeah. <laughs> Somebody yeah. once told, told me. The okay, we'll make it easier. What's your favorite soundtrack? Shrek. <laughs> oh my god, Lion King. I was gonna see if you could give me a sampling of your favorite song. Uh, <laughs> I definitely have two. Okay. Okay, let me guess. Okay. Moana? No. But you really love that one. I do. Frozen? No. Are they like Pocahontas or something really no. weird? That's not that weird. Pocahontas has some jams. Is it weird like Tangled? That's not weird either. Mother Knows Best. Lion King. Aladdin. No. Let's see. The Princess and the Frog. Yes. What's really? the other one? I've never seen that. <sighs> uh, Princess and the Frog. Okay. Snow White. Hercules. What? Hercules? They have the best Songs. A hero like Hercules. Honey, you mean Hercules. I can't be friends with you anymore. <laughs> so good. Hercules. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh. Yeah, no, I'm hog. Like hog, hog. <laughs> My favorite Disney Pixar as of late, Lee, would be. Get in there. Okay. <laughs> I'm sorry. I don't watch a lot of movies. I think we need to go educate you on some Disney movies. <laughs> Let's see if you remember how to be a YouTuber. Like, comment, and subscribe. Yeah. If there's any other stores or brands you guys want me to do a style walkthrough for, tag them on Twitter or Instagram or anywhere. Tell them you want a style walkthrough. Honkulies out. <laughs> it's also Honkulies out. Honk. Okay, I'll see you guys next time. Thank you for watching. You gonna say bye? Bye. <laughs>